Alright, yo, so I have Ook and Hebox with me today. We are going to be making a sort of ramble video about new players and how to get into skilling and tips that we have for those people. So anyways, without further ado, I'm Bailey's Solus General. I am Ooktism Solus General. I am Hebox Junge, I'm an Omnia Captain. Okay, so the first question we have is... What is one advice you'd give to new players? Um, I can start this off. Um, so I, I really feel like a lot of new players have had this problem where they're like really kind of just fucked in the fact that they have to like pretty much, or they think they have to start the game at like 1 or 2k HP, like get into skilling at that point, and then they just instantly have to start playing like a billion alts and making all this money and all like they just get too obsessed with money and i feel like they're not like as explorative as the old new players used to be I feel that's like a big issue so I would, my advice would be like to not worry about the money too much yeah i uh, agree on that bailey uh Everyone is way like too focused on all the jobbing and not like experimenting with with skills. Everyone's just doing the easy, fast skills to make a lot of money. And yeah, I don't know, just not like uh, they're not building a good balance between fast and slow skills. Yeah, and I, I really, I really feel like um, as a new player, you should like be like you should want to like explore new skills. Like yeah. Like, it, like, even if you're, like, max, like, yeah, you've probably tried all the skills, or at least done, like, decent methods to get to max, but you should at least, like, just try and jump around and see if you can, like, even do, like, the EHP method for each skill. Like, that's what I did when I started playing, like, I just, like, I would be like, oh, I wonder if I could do black chins, I'm gonna go try it, or I wonder if I could go do mining, I'm gonna go try to learn it, or I'm gonna see if I can do fishing, or whatever. Yeah. And now I feel like we see a lot of people that are just like they'll be like a fresh max account or not or even non max and they're just like as soon as they start skilling they just instantly do herb lore crafting, smithing, thieving, all back to yep. back to back. <laughs> all they do is jobs. And I just feel like I just feel bad for those people because they're like really missing out. Like I I know those skills are like easy and sort of fun because they're just super reclined. But I just really feel like a lot of those people are just missing out on like the newness of skilling, like doing new methods is like really fun. Yeah, just experimenting. That's like one of my favorite things to do in game. Yeah. Just have fun with, with different methods, different different alts, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely recommend trying to find like a decently so long skill that you like. And uh, on the alt, I every new player you like should be just growing up and learning what RS3 is and making RS3 alts. Oh yeah. It is if you make four of them while you're like one to two K EHP, all you have to do is click a couple times every five minutes for the rest of the game. You never yeah. have to do a job, kill a rune dragon and you can do zero plus four. I don't know why people are so scared on learning how to do like divination on RS three. It's super easy and it really will like change your life how easy yeah. RS three alts are. I've really only heard good things about RS3, so I don't know. I feel like more people should give it a try. It can't be that bad, you know. I mean, it's just another version of this game, really, just with different updates. Yeah. So, I've made a few. If any new players need advice on how to start making them, play them, DM me. I'll help. Is there also a guide out there for making yeah. spiritual warriors all? Yeah, mainly, literally... I'll just send you the pace bin, but I'll also okay. like, give any advice I can. There's quite literally a step by step guide, like how to do this, how to do this, etc., like everything. And it's super easy. It just it, you just have to wiki stuff that you've never heard of before. It's not hard at all. <laughs> and what's the GP an hour on uh, on those? Uh, like. Swap rates and like if you have invention and stuff, it can vary between like 450 and 550 k an hour per account. Which means if you just have four running, you're just making like you know two mil an hour without thinking about it. Whenever you're playing the game, mm -hmm. like you just easily fund the game through that. 
Yeah, and they're, it's not like they're like rune drags or anything. You're literally just clicking the um, ability bar. Like, you're literally just clicking a potion on the ability bar. It's gotten to the point where I've done a decent amount of thousands of hours of them. My client makes a noise when it's time to drink pots, and I literally do it without even, like, thinking about it. I, like, don't even notice anymore that I'm playing the alts. All you have to do is right-click and click a hotkey on each one. It's super easy. So make RS3 alts is definitely my best advice for a new player. So I, I really have another, like, really good advice. This is, like, something that was really, like, taught to me from, like, Nick, Seth dumbfounded sean bay like another like huge thing about actually like progressing fast and making like big progress even with like even if you're not full free time it is like you have to get like or you have to at least try to get like one-to-one -one if you want to like progress fast like like the whole every new player doing like gym nights like that needs to be like not a thing because that method is just so bad in my opinion because it's just like point a yeah you're making money but you're just losing so much time for not really a good reason like yeah you make a lot of money but is it really worth the time loss that's i think a lot of people are not understanding that <coughs> like they're just losing so many hours to just quote unquote make yeah. money or whatever. And it and it's not that like plunder is a hard method. Yeah, like you could even play alts with plunder. Like you don't have to do under EHP. Yeah, but the gem knights are good for zero timing on the phone, which yeah, is probably my number one tip. It's like abuse that uh, that mobile uh, app when you're away from the PC. Just tap your phone to make like uh, your least favorite skill uh, go like progressing your least favorite skill or make the current skill you're training like uh like even better progression in the in the in like the current skill yeah which that's is really good yeah advice. that's really good for the motivation to see the like the xp fly up that's what i did for my agility month when i was not at the pc i was uh doing arty so i could get even a better month yeah hey uh what go ahead go ahead I think if you're struggling to find a skill to do when you're a new player, you should pull up to Zaya and try two tick fishing and try to learn how to do it. It doesn't take very long and it's a long skill that's pretty easy to get like 0.95 with long term. Much better than doing what everyone's doing now, which is like starting their account with Gem Knights for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two tick fishing is an easy one to learn and it's really good for. You can still do those money making alts. I feel like a lot of players are getting it wrong where they're like their mindset is I can only make money with these skills and they have like a handful of skills like herbal crafting, smithing, thieving, and slayer. And they think those skills are the only skills I can make money with. And like you can make money with almost every skill, like you could you could play those R three accounts with literally anything. First of all, yeah. and then you can do most like if you like if you're dead set on jobs or rune drags or whatever, you can almost play at least one of those with a lot of things, especially fishing. Maybe not like sepulcher or hunter, but like fishing is so simple. Yeah, but also <clears throat> sepulcher makes you like six bill, so don't forget about that. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are not even thinking about how much money the Agi gives. It's actually nuts. I know it's like intimidating to try out like something that looks like super hard or it looks hard to understand or grasp or whatever, but I promise if if I can do it, you can do it because Yeah, it's really not that hard. Yeah. First week's going to suck, but after that uh you'll be set. Yep. Alright, so I guess uh, we can move on to the next question. But I, got, I got another tip for new players. Okay. Uh, don't be scared of joining TeamSpeak in Discord voices, even if you're a shy person. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty welcoming and it will help you play a lot more and have a lot more fun while playing. Yeah, I, I really agree with that. That is li literally why I know even how to play the game or how, you, how I know anything about EHP or anything. I was literally taught on TeamSpeak. 
because I just joined Team Speak as like just a PVM or just I just liked the Solus podcast. That's literally why I joined Team Speak. I was like, "Yo, can I talk to you guys? I like the podcasts." And then they just taught me how to skill, and it's been a wrap ever since. You know. Yeah, and sign up to uh, competitions. Also, a good way to get into like more serious skilling. Yeah, for sure. Yes, yes, big. Join a comp and join the Team Speak while it's happening. You will have a lot of fun and do a very big week. Probably way more than you think you can do. Yeah, it's a lot easier to play whenever you have other people playing like with you. Like you're yeah. on voice with them or around for sure. or whatever. Alright, so the next question is what are the new players doing wrong? And when I made this question I really wanted to focus on like the money aspect mainly. Kinda already touched on that, I guess. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of new players have just fully just really forgotten about the the reason why they're skilling. Like they're just focused on the money and I know R C is like a super big deal and it's like really scary to think about if you want to do it efficiently or like extremely efficiently I guess but I would really suggest not worrying too much about it like I know it's going to be hard to make all the money in the long run but I mean in the words of Sean Bay the money will come you know I wouldn't <laughs> stress about it <laughs> You can always wait a few thousand hours and just make one extra RS3 all in your back right on track. Yeah, you don't literally. have to worry about money right at the start. It's a bad idea. I didn't worry about money until 8k HP. <clears throat> I think, uh... One thing a lot of new players I don't like they're doing is they're going for post XP before they have the maximum cape. Oh, yeah. I'm tired of people <laughs> without the max cape, man. That is you a don't, big you, pet peeve of mine. Everyone who gets the max cape is always like, oh, this is, this is fucking sick. Why didn't I have this before? Yeah. It just teleports you everywhere and does everything. One cape does everything in the game. You don't have to wear a different cape for anything but melees. Slayer. So, I can understand, like, some of the non-max builds where, like, they want to do... Like, let's say, like, they just want to do just fishing or something else. But once you, like, move on to, like, those other skills, like, like Slayer or, uh, I don't know. You know skills that, like, the max cape really fucking helps for, and it's just a pain in the ass if you don't have it. I just feel like there's no reason not to just get max cape. I don't know. I do feel like that's a big pet peeve of mine. I've always fought Jenny Death on it, and... And Seth as well, like they've always been a big time non max Andy. I don't know why. Just uh, makes everything a lot more simple. It takes a lot of stuff that you need into one cape. Yeah. Just one item, and you can just wear it on yourself with almost everything. But I'm I'm looking at the skill tab now, and I don't know. I think every skill is pretty doable without it. Actually, maybe mining is. One of the only skills that can be annoying. Yeah, I think mining and slayer are the two that are like let's say you're not max you like let's say you don't have nine on prayer con uh crafting, like that's just Yeah, but if you have those but you have don't have other skills, Slayer is also doable. You just have to like keep four capes in your inventory. <laughs> yeah, that's just so actually just hard targeting someone with yeah. that. <laughs> oh well I mean it is what it is. Comment if you yeah. know who he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, for this question, I was mainly thinking about the like gym nights and not getting one to one, and like a lot of people have been doing like not one to one methods like really early on, and I feel like. They haven't even tried, like, the efficient methods before doing, like, the non-efficient methods. Like, people will do VM before they even try to do Granite. And I feel like that's that's fine in some cases. Like, if you enjoy VM, then... If, or if you know you're going to enjoy VM more than Granite, then yeah, like, go ahead and send VM. But I feel like if you want to be, like... If you want... I, just, I don't know, I just feel like Granite gives you, like, 
a sense of accomplishment if you at least even try it. And you might even like it. Like, who knows? I, I just feel like a lot of people are not trying things. They're just instantly giving up on the hard methods. They're just like, okay, I'm, I'm completely just going to give up and do VM or whatever as a new player. I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people like doing VM who are low EHP right now. So I feel like... There's like these two ideas that I think are both really wrong. Bro, again, like one really is you have to do like really impressive stuff. Like you have to start with like a big 200 mil like mining to like try to impress people and get Twitter oh likes. God, when it's like not at all. And two, people think if they start a skill, they have to like, just like do it straight. Also not true at all. And yeah. your weeks would probably be higher not doing that. Yeah, just make the game easier. Like for yourself. That's one thing that Ray used to say in his... Uh... Is rambles. Yeah, literally just make the yeah. game easier for yourself. Yeah. If you're, I mean, if you're doing a skill and you're not enjoying it, go do something else for the rest of the day. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot of new players that do understand this, but there's also, like, a lot that don't. And they think, like, oh, I have to do this one skill. If I can't get this skill done, I just won't play. Or I won't log in or whatever. If I'm not, I don't know, woodcutting or whatever, then I'm not going to play. So... I don't know, you should just skill hop if you are not enjoying it or if you don't, like some days, like I would want to focus like mining or whatever for a week and like one day I'll just wake up and I'll just be like, yeah, I don't want to fucking mine today and then I just won't and then yeah. I just end up playing all day instead of not playing. Yeah, same for me. But also, what's a... Uh... I said it before, but like everyone is focused on the money and the fast skills. But if you do that, like the slow skills are gonna hit hard. <laughs> so make a good balance between those skills. If you like really long term, think about two hundred all. Make sure to not leave all those skills for last. Yeah, and I, I'm not trying to like overwhelm new players by like saying like, oh, you should be going for two hundred mil all. You should have this turn them all mindset and you should do this you should do that i'm just trying to give them helpful temp tips that i feel like has been like really it's like the community has been really dry and i feel like the new players have been like led astray by um just this mindset that you have to make money and you can't do any click intensive skills until you have all the money for rc in the bank and I think that's, mm -hmm. like, a really bad mindset. I think, like, if you want to go do mining or if you want to go do fishing or woodcutting or hunter or slayer or whatever skill it is, just go do it. Like, at the end of the day, like, you're going to play more if you're enjoying what you're doing. Or if you're going after a goal, you're going to play more and you're going to make way more progress than you would doing something that you hate or doing something that's, like, really stressful or just, like, it feels, like, forced, you know? Yep. All right, so I guess we're going to move on to the last question here. So this question is, what is something that made you take the game seriously? Well, for me, it was mainly like me realizing that top page was still open. Yeah. And then I like really went went hard but before that i i don't know i just enjoy the grind i guess just uh enjoy like listening to my music and just uh skilling away that's like i just yeah, really just, like, enjoy the, playing the game yeah getting or, in like yeah. the like the gamer mode i guess I don't yeah know. flow like, state down, which listen, how you yeah yeah i'm the same way i feel like something that made me take it seriously was um like, I remember right after I finished the Hunter month, I, like, I tweeted the month or whatever, and then, for some reason, like, just that, like, opened people's eyes, and everyone just started telling me that I was going to get top page, and I really had no clue, like, I remember every time someone said that to me, I was just like, how the fuck am I going to go from rank 100 to top page, you are psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> And then I actually, like, looked at the numbers or whatever and looked at, like, people's EHP weeks and, like, if I, like, 
did my year over and over again, what rank would I finish? And like, it actually really started to motivate me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, yeah, that top page thing is really, it's really exciting, but I feel like new players don't have to have that to play. Like they can always go for records or they could go for like big months, like trying to win your clan's month comp is, that was like, that's really why I started playing a lot because I just wanted to win the month comp. Like I, as soon as I joined Solus, I, the first thing I wanted to do was win the month comp. So, I mean, you can just try doing that. And if you're, maybe you don't have the time for that, but you could just like set yourself goals. Like, oh, I really want to be 200 mil in this skill. And then you'll be motivated to play with that. Yeah, you just have to get like a, a desire to, f to finish some skills. It's yep. probably the, the best motivation and or for like actually playing a lot. I think uh, visualizing 200 mil being possible is probably what made me start taking the game seriously. Which is when I did Slayer, is I think new players should try to save Slayer for a bit and use it until they're about to quit the game. <laughs> that's kind of what I did. I was yeah. pretty ready to quit the game before I started Slayer. Then I did Slayer and had like 9k up. And I was just like, oh, maybe it's possible. <laughs> Slayer is just a ton of EHP and it's just so fun. Yeah, it's just like over 2k EHP and you just easily crank it out. You'll play the most that you'll play like with the entire yeah, game. Slayer will be your highest month. Yeah, I think almost everyone has played like a lot of hours with Slayer. Yep. It's just really enjoyable, and I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if you guys saw that tweet that I made about the fucking when someone mentioned Slayer and yep. Solus CS. That is <laughs> actually a reality. Every skill yeah. loves Slayer. Yeah, if we went down right now and Solus Team speaking, we just said the word Slayer. Everyone would get out of their yeah, chair and start fine. clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves it, dude. It's I the best. Yeah, I, I feel like something that also made me and Ook, I don't know if this was the case for you, Hebox, but um, I feel like me and Ook had a lot of people that would say, like, that we couldn't get 200 mil all, or we couldn't do a big year, or whatever, and I feel like that oh, was yeah. also a big motivator. Yeah. Like, people doubting you is, like, probably one of the best motivators that can happen. Like. Yeah, for sure, man. If someone's like, oh yeah, this guy sucks, he can't do fishing, or he can't do mining, and then you go and do mining, then it feels fucking awesome, you know? Uh huh. The only reason I did a 4k year is because Sean Bay told me I could not do a 4k year. Yeah, I mean, that's the same way I did it, because I, I mean, I was, I just, I was literally on like, a, I did one 100 week, and then I said, alright, I'm doing the 4k year, and then everyone told me, oh bro, it's not that easy, you're going to play for a whole year, and all this shit, and like, I was like, okay, I'll just do it then. <laughs> then, I mean, I just did. I feel like people telling you that you can't is such a big motivator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so, back in the day, two of them all like was kind of impossible. Like before, links even did it. Like it was so insane to like get two of them all, and now that you like see people actually get it, and like that that motivates a lot as well. But it's yeah. actually possible to to achieve. I. Kind of got something to say. It goes back to one advice, though. Like it's like kind of an advice. And that's find like someone around your EHP to do the come up with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, who really can big. you can motivate each other and, like, talk about passing each other and, like, obviously in a friendly way, but a competitive way. It was kind of like me and Blue Bonnet. We both have kind of just, like, been the same EHP since we both started. And I feel like that's a good motivator for a lot of people to have just, like, someone you're doing the come up with. Yeah. I, um, obviously Blake doesn't skill anymore, but I really was really competitive with Blake. We were, like, really good friends when he played, but we were also really competitive with each other. Like, I was always comparing my week to his, and he probably did the same with me, and we were always talking about, oh, we want to be this EHP rank, or we want to pass these people, and, like, we were always, like, pretty much side by side on the, like, the ranks and stuff. It was really, like, fun, too like motivate each other yeah that sounds fun man i didn't really have that myself kind of alone on the grind yeah 
Let's see. All right, what else do we have? So I only had the three questions. So other than that, do we have anything else we want to add? Uh, so check. I wrote some stuff down. Did we hit all of it? Uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be like really soon into the game, but once you have like a decent amount of money, I'd really recommend maybe like even if it's only one hour a day, doing an hour of RC or something. Really yes. trying to chip away at runecrafting to the point where you're getting near the end of the game, you're not 13 mil runecrafting. Because let me tell you, that shit sucks. Yeah. Yep. I've seen it time and time again. Just like, just slowly chip away at runecrafting if you don't like it. I mean, if you do like it, send it, obviously, if you can make the money. But an hour a day, and all of a sudden, you know, you're 100 mil when you're like getting closer to the end of the game. Yeah, that really helps. That's how I started like doing RC, and I just ended up really liking it. And then I did way more. Also the same, I started doing very small amounts, and then just uh, kind of fell into it and started enjoying it a bit more. I mean, I still don't like it. It's not a great skill. But <laughs> it's. I would recommend starting slow, and if you like it, keep going, or start going harder. And if you don't, keep doing like an hour, maybe two a day. Yep. Um, one more thing I'd like to add is join TeamSpeak, join Discord, get connected, talk to people. Don't be afraid of, to talk on the mic. I was nervous when I first started, and now I'm like one of the most talkative people there is. So, yeah, we don't be I mean, too, don't be scared. No one's gonna really judge you. No, none of us are mean. I mean, it's just a general fun time to hop on the mic, talk to people. We're all playing the same game. Yeah, there's a lot of people who thought they were too shy and, like, socially awkward to fit in, and now they're staples of the voice community. Yeah. You just, people aren't going to judge you or make fun of you or anything. I mean, look at the game we play. We're all a little awkward. Yeah. So <laughs> everyone accepts True. each other. All right, I guess that's all we have. I guess we can wrap it up here. Yeah. I feel like we got a lot of stuff in. Got a lot of good advice in. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording now. Peace.